CD Projekt Red just dropped a massive 17 plus gigabyte update for both PlayStation and Xbox with the PC version releasing very soon. Now we all weren't anticipating a big update to the game until after the holidays, but it looks like CD Projekt Red is hard at work at getting the game at a little bit more of a functional state as soon as possible. Now we do know that there's been a lot of drama around Cyberpunk 2077, but today we're just gonna ignore what's been going on and I wanna go over the hot fixes that is available in patch 1.05. Now it is really great to see CD Projekt Red doing the best that they can to make the game more playable. And we've got a ton of fixes. Quite frankly, I am really surprised at how much they were able to fix in such a short amount of time. I can only imagine the struggles that the devs that have been going through to get this game even to a playable state over the past couple months. Uh, so my heart goes out to all the devs out there that have been working on this game. I know there's a lot of drama, but keep up the good work. So. We've got a list of fixes to various quests, so if any of you have been plagued by any of these issues, uh, then hopefully this will help you be able to progress through the game. So we've got Jackie will no longer disappear in the pickup or heist parts of, the, of those quests. Uh, fixed an issue preventing players from landing the helicopter in Love Like Fire. Uh, they also fixed an issue with Takamura not calling in Play It Safe. There's a ton of other fixes here as well. No longer possible to trigger the same dialogue twice in Big in Japan. Uh, Delamain appearing upside down at the end of Don't Lose Your Mind. I experienced some glitches during that particular quest line. Uh, Saul will now correctly reach the van in Riders of the Storm. Fast traveling before the encounter with Tiger Claws no longer breaks progression in I Fought the Law. They also fixed an issue blocking progress in Ghost Town if an autosave made upon uh, Raff and Shiv's arrival was loaded. Uh, there's an issue fixed with not receiving new calls or messages if Happy Together failed as a result of combat, which could basically prevent your progress in the game. Elizabeth Perales stops being excessively insistent with her calls after her job offer is refused. I didn't have any of those issues, but that sounds really annoying. The scene with Misty and Jackie now starts probably after leaving Victor's clinic. I had a lot of glitches with that one, some of them particularly entertaining. Uh, Wakako's dialogue no longer gets blocked after finishing Search and Destroy, and walking away from Stefan in Sweet Dreams shouldn't prevent the other characters from calling you anymore. Uh, Brick's detonator should now be properly interactable for players to disarm or set off your call. Elevator doors should now correctly open in the heist, thank god, because that one almost prevented me from being able to play the game on multiple occasions, and I know it was a very prevalent glitch, so, uh, hopefully that is fixed for everybody now. Saul now correctly gets out of cars in Riders of the Storm. They also fixed an issue with not receiving new calls or messages after running too far away from Frank in War Pigs. So Jackie now correctly leaves the factory after the combat is finished in the pickup. I had issues with that too where I had to restart the whole mission. Uh, fixed an issue with Militech reinforcements not spawning if driving through the gate too fast and forward to death. A skipping time while in the club in violence no longer results in issues with progression. Uh, fixed issues with starting gig getting warmer. Interesting. They have fixed an issue with not receiving new calls or messages after Pyramid Song has been abandoned midway. Uh, they also fixed an issue whereby Delamain core would be already broken when player enters the core room and don't lose your mind. That's unfortunate. Uh, there's also another fix with Delamain not appearing or doing anything outside the afterlife in the heist. Fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Objectives getting stuck on talk to Victor in the Ripper dock. Fix an issue where, uh, whereby it was impossible to talk to the bouncer in front of Lizzie's in the information. I had that issue as well. I had a description for Don't Lose Your Mind in the journal. Fix an issue preventing players from saving, using fast travel, or talking to other NPCs after reloading a save with an active call with Frank in War Pigs. Fix an issue with Pan Am not calling about any other matter until all fly away is completed. And fix an issue with Dum Dum following V after the pickup is finished. So it seems like a lot of these fixes are towards the beginning to mid part of the game, which means this is probably a lot of stuff that's being reported. So make sure to report any issues and send any data that you get when the game crashes. That way they can get good data on things that we should be getting fixed in the game. Now, gameplay fixes improve the reaction time for NPCs taking cover. So hopefully you won't just be able to shoot them in the face nonstop and then have them finally decide to try and run away or something like that. Correct the number of shots needed to kill civilians from a distance while in combat. That's nice. 
Now, visual fixes. Fix an issue with Delamain's image displayed on the top of the current collar during phone calls. V's mouth doesn't stay open after entering the space lock Where uh, in Where Is My Mind. Also, fix some UI overlap issues. That's good. V appears more modest in the inventory preview after the half-year montage. And NPCs are faster to appear in the quest area during Stadium of Love. Interesting. Do they just spawn in? I, I hope they fix some of that stuff with just things just popping in behind you. Added some warmth to the HDR. Fixed the T-posing NPCs in suspected organized crime activity. Did we get the T-posing fixed when you're driving your car? I don't think so. Fixed an issue whereby the brain dance, it was, a, it was possible to be stuck in third person view with no head. Oh, that's fun. Silencer icons are long, no longer displayed with no image in the inventory. Okay. And we've got some UI fixes here as well. Fix an issue with weapon crosshair persisting on screen. Uh, the inventory menu no longer closes immediately after opening it for the first time after leaving a car. That's really nice because that was getting really annoying. Fix an issue whereby upon accessing a fast travel terminal, the button showed on the top right corner, prompting to open the quest journal would not work. Okay. Performance and stability, multiple stability improvements, including crash fixes. That's going to be really nice because when I was playing on the PlayStation 5, I can only imagine how bad it's going to be or how bad it was on the PS4. I was crashing all the time. Miscellaneous off-screen explosions make noise now. Fantastic. Now, we do have a list of PC-specific fixes that are going to be launching with this soon as well. So we've got AMD SMT optimized default core thread utilization. Wow, I struggled with that one. So now, basically, if you have more than four cores, the game is going to take advantage of those multi-cores. That was something we can actually change ourselves with a hex editor, and that's something I did to fix my gameplay on my system as well. So that's going to be automatically done. Fix an issue uh, with the way raw input is collected. Remove the use of AVS instruction set, thus fixing crashes occurring at the end of the prologue and processors not supporting AVX. Perfect. That was a mod that a lot of people had been making already. Remove debug console to prevent functions that could lead to crashes or blocked quests. This doesn't mean we don't want uh, to support the modding community. Stay tuned for more info on that. That's actually really interesting. And I am really excited for the future of modding in the game. So I'll be looking forward to that being reintroduced. A ray trace reflection should no longer seem too bright in comparison to the environment. Thank God. Fix an issue with Steam overlay crash and the game shut down. Thank God I wasn't playing on Steam because that would have been frustrating. Remove the memory pool budget file, uh, which was not connected with the final version of the game and had no influence on it. It was left over. Okay, so it had no effect on gameplay or anything. So we've got some console-specific improvements as well. Improved image sharpness with chromatic aberration and fill grain on. Most people are turning that off because it improves in performance anyways. Uh, settings should no longer reset to default after several game session restarts. Fixed the visual issues occurring during the transition between the heist and love like fire. Correct the look of several, several vehicles. Nice. So we got two Xbox-specific fixes here as well. Entering combat while Synaptic Accelerator is active no longer ends in player health bar not being displayed. And uh, the game no longer becomes unresponsive when signing out from a profile with the controller disconnection is invisible. Okay. Telemetry consent request will appear once more due to an earlier issue with uh, settings being reset. And fixed an issue whereby it was possible to fall down the elevator shaft in Mega Building H8 in Automatic Love. I've fallen down many, uh, <laughs> many different elevator shafts in this game while doing some uh, glitchy exploration. Uh, but yeah, so we got some hot fixes. This should fix a lot of the issues people were experiencing at the beginning of the game. Obviously, there is still a plethora of things that need to be fixed in Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, but it... I am very happy to see that CD Projekt Red is going the extra mile. I do feel bad for all the devs, though, because they have been overworked for years on end, and now it's getting towards the holidays, and they're probably having to work just as hard, if not more, than ever before. Uh, but I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for the support on all the Cyberpunk 2077 content, and uh, I hope this patch fixes a lot of the issues y'all were having.